All right, hello, grade eight. So welcome to lesson 9.2, adding and subtracting fractions greater than one. Follow along on page 290 of your textbooks. And the goal is to solve problems by adding or subtracting mixed numbers and improper fractions. Mixed number and improper fractions are fractions that are greater than one or one whole. And I'll go through this a little bit more throughout this uh, video and I'll explain much more in class. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, problem here. Riley is using his grandmother's recipe to make cookies. He has enough white sugar to make four batches of chocolate cookies. So we got chocolate cookies, one and one third cups of white sugar in the recipe for chocolate cookies. Cherry cookies, we have a half a cup of white sugar. How much white sugar is left over if Riley makes seven batches of cherry cookies instead of four batches of chocolate cookies. Before we get to that, I want to explain one thing. Okay, now I've been mentioning how fraction is made up of a whole. Okay, uh, what is a whole? What is the whole number? What makes up the one or the whole number in one and one third? If you're looking at a fraction like one and one third, what is the whole number? What makes up the one? makes up the one in this fraction it, it varies from fraction to fraction what makes up the one three over three and that only happens once in this case so essentially this mixed number is three over three plus one third put together that is that this is that mixed number in fractions okay so this makes up the whole. Three over three is one. And you know that because the mixed number or the fraction that is attached to that number is one third. In this case, one half. I'm gonna change colors here. Okay, I can't change colors, I'm being blocked out. So let's not change colors. One half, okay? If I were to take the whole, if I were to take two halves, what makes a half? Two over two will make the whole okay the whole number or one whole okay I know that's a little bit confusing again I will go through that in class um, in the meantime go back reset and take these notes down and definitely follow along in your textbook now calculate the amount of white sugar Riley needs for four batches of chocolate cookies. Now, again, we have one and one third, okay? The whole is three thirds. And you can see that right here. So if we take the one there, another one there, another one there, and finally another one there. Four batches, one and one third cups each. So there's your four batches but you have one third plus one third plus one third. One third plus one third plus one third makes three over three. There it is right here. There's your whole number. So now you have four. You still have one third left over. Boom, there it is, one third. Now the reason four and four over three becomes five and a third is because what makes the whole here three over three? Three. How many three over threes do you have in there? You got one. So three over three equals one. You gotta take that out of there and give it to the big number. All right, that's why you have five. And what's left over? One over three. One third. Make sense? Of course it does. If not, don't worry about it. Take notes and I'll explain tomorrow in class. Next, seven batches of cherry cookies. Each batch requires a half a cup, all right? Half a cup, seven batches, one half, two half, makes one. What's a, what is a whole in this department? What is in this a whole number at this point? What makes one? So if it's a half, it needs a half a cup, half a cup, half a cup, equals two over two equals the one good good so half and half one 
half and half, another one, half and half, another one, and just a half. So what do you got there? Three and a half. Boom, there it is. Okay, pause right now, copy this down. Definitely follow along in your textbooks. All right, now these are easy because these are all common denominators. Very simple stuff. We talked about this last lesson. Let's take a look over here. Calculate the amount of white sugar left over if Riley makes seven batches of cherry cookies instead of four batches of chocolate cookies. So let's take a look here. Riley needed five and a third cups of white sugar for the chocolate cookies and three and a half cups for the cherry cookies. Notice we do not have a common denominator. So we're subtracting now. We're now subtracting. So in order to subtract, we have to take five and a third minus three and a half. We gotta make these common denominators. Two times three, easy way of doing it, six. All right, two times one is two. Three times one is three. And this becomes this. And now we subtract them. Simple enough, right? Okay, five minus three and three six. Now this isn't working. This is not working over here. Okay, this doesn't work because we have two and we got three. So we have to borrow. We have to borrow one, okay, from here, okay, one from here and put it back into the fraction. So what's the whole here? Six over six. Six over six is the whole here. So we take one whole, one whole, and put it into the fraction, which is two over six. And what does it become? And I know this is confusing, but what does it become? Four and eight over six. So two over six plus six plus six becomes eight over six. So now we have common denominator and we're able to subtract four minus three. So four minus three, so four minus three is one, eight minus three is five, and the sixes, they don't subtract, they stay the same. That's why you need a common denominator. And what are you left with? Five, one and five sixths, okay? And what's left over? One and five sixths of white sugar would be left over, okay? And you can do the same thing here using improper fractions, okay? One and, f sorry, five and one third minus three and one half. You make it a, um, you make it a improper fraction. Okay, again, what is the whole here? Three over three, okay? Three over three, okay? and if you have five, three over three, what is five times three? 15. That's where the 16 is from here. So you got three over three is the whole in this mixed number right here. Three over three, oopsie. Three over three is the mixed number, sorry, is the whole or the one of the mixed number here, okay? How many times is this happening in this mixed number? Five times. Five times three is 15. You've already got the one here, that's why it becomes 16 over three. Same with this, or you can do it the other way. Two, three times two, six, plus one is seven, seven. The denominator stays the same. But again, ladies and gentlemen, you all are gonna need the common denominator, okay? So again, multiply this times three, 21. This times two, 16 times two is 20, uh, sorry, it's 32, okay? And then you subtract. Subtract large number from, this, from the smaller number, and you get 11 times six, or one and five over six. Easy enough. Again, I'll go through this in class next day, but um, 
this is pretty simple stuff. Just take notes down and uh, we will review, definitely be reviewing in class next day. Okay, that's enough for now. Um, hopefully um, it didn't confuse you too much. Let's, uh, let's talk about it and uh, pause when you need to. Go back and review and take some good notes and we will see you. All right, thanks. Later.